Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks and a Merry Merry Christmas to everyone watching. Happy Holidays. Seasons greetings. Seasons greetings, everything. If you're watching this on Christmas, then Merry Christmas. If you're not, this video is on Christmas, so it's still Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a great one with the family or any of your loved ones. Uh, so a big Merry Christmas from us. But Flo, tell them how we celebrate Christmas. Giveaway. But that is how we celebrate Christmas here at Pure Kicks. Giveaway. Now one of our favorite shoes of 2018 and the shoe that we like to give away to you guys is the Hyperdunk X 2018. All you need to do to be eligible to win this giveaway is make sure you subscribe to our channel subscribe. if you haven't already. If you haven't. Make sure you like this video. Thumbs up. Yeah, make sure you like this video and comment your size down below. Make sure you let us know which type of size you are. UK, Europe, USA, New Zealand, that's not. Yeah? That's all you gotta do. Those three things. Yeah? Once you've done those, then we will select our winner on January the 7th. And we'll be in contact with you January the 7th. So make sure you do all those things and the Hyperdunk X 2018 could be yours. Merry Crumbo. <laughs> he says Crumbo anymore. <laughs> so right team, now it's time for So right team, now it's time for I can't even see it set up. So right guys, now it's time for the performance review. Why can't I say this? I don't know. It happens to me too. I don't even know, let me go one more time. Because we've done this multiple we've times. We've said it many times. It's not a problem for me to say, but I can't say it all of a sudden. For some reason. So right guys, now it's time for the performance review. <laughs> <laughs> the shoe we're talking about today is the Nike Kyrie 5. The carry five. I'm stressed out now. Let's, let's cool. get it. Let's get it. Let's stop stressing Timmy out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Every year, the carry shoe, Timmy, you definitely agree with me, is one of the most anticipated Easily. shoes every single I'm year. I'm already excited for the carry six. Already excited. I'm already. And the carry five, first impressions look absolutely amazing. This yeah. colorway, big swoosh. Big swoosh. A1. Fantastic stuff. So clean. Easily. And every year, when a new carry shoe gets announced, I get extremely excited because I feel like my hand is going to improve. It just does. As soon as I get these. And this shoe was absolutely incredible. We've got some amazing things to say about the shoe. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first off, starting out of our favourite part of the shoe, the support. Now in the Kyrie 5, there is this flytrap inspired containment system across the forefoot. It looks and sounds like a gimmick, but it's not. By no stretches it a gimmick. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It does what they said it was going to do. And the containment is there. Not only is the Flytrap Inspire containment zone there, but it's also got an internal heel counter, the lacing system, which works with it as well, overlays throughout the shoe, and just the general shoe itself all comes through for support. It does it so, so well. It's actually a very tight fitting shoe, but we'll talk mm. more about fit a little later. But even the fit of it also helps with the support. So it really does a trick wherever yeah. it needs to. Which is what you suspect when you're talking to Kyrie and in terms of how he plays and then how some people, or even myself and maybe yourself as well, emulate to play the game as well. So you're taken care of when we're talking locked down and locked in when yeah. we're talking to Kyrie 5. Now for guards that have support insecurities, that's what I'm gonna call it now, <laughs> support insecurities, this is the exact support setup that you want in this shoe. I'd go as far as saying this is probably one of the most supportive Guard shoes on the that. market right I now. Yeah. Complete lockdown, every angle, you're good to go. Supporting the shoe is amazing. Now, with all that being said, given the Kyrie 5 support a score, it's coming out as a 9. Has to be. Has to be a 9. Has to be. Oh, there's a strong 9 too. Strong 9, it's yeah. It's a strong, strong 9. Like touching 10. It's touching 10, but it can't quite be a 10. Alright, fair enough. 10 is like 4. For like big men's shoes. It's like LeBron in there. Like LeBron in there. Fair enough, fair enough. I've not even mentioned the name in this video. Yeah, yeah, I hear that, I hear that. Next up, moving on to the cushion in the Carry 5. Now, this is very, very exciting very stuff. Exciting. We have a brand new adaptation of Nike Zoom, and the Carry 5 has what Nike calls Nike Zoom Turbo. Jeez. First of all, let's just talk about this name. First off. This name is mad. <laughs> First Turbo. Off. Like that Power Rangers. <laughs> nah. No. Oh, Are you dumb? Wow, Nike stuff. Zoom Turbo. 
<laughs> Dumb. <laughs> now, what does Nike Zoom Turbo consist of? Basically, it's an articulated zoom unit, which basically means it has loads of different slits in it, which allow it to be more flexible. A lot more flexible. Yeah, a lot more flexible. Bare flexible. Timmy, what do you think about Nike Zoom Turbo? It's man? bare flexible. It's peng. It's fam. First off, right, we haven't gassed it enough. It's four foot, just four so foot. we're clear, right? We're on our fifth shoe. We haven't seen four foot since the first. But since the first. Kyrie. Welcome back to Four Foot Zoom. Now, Nike Zoom Turbo is another thing that kind of comes in like looking and sounding like a gimmick, mm. but it came back swinging. Straight upper cup. Uppers. It was paired with a Phylon carrier as well, which is actually a nicer Phylon, not mm. a stiff one. We've normally seen it like the yeah. Carry 3 or so, but it was a little softer and it felt super, super good on the foot, underfoot. You felt it on every step. The when you when you're playing on your toes, amazing. That being said, this actually, an eight. I'll okay. take that. Why is it not a nine or a ten to me? One reason is because it's not full length and we haven't seen the jewel on it. But I'm only scoring what I have in the shoe. But it did feel amazing, yeah. first off. Now, with that being said, this is actually our favourite part of the shoe. For sure. But we couldn't quite score it higher than a nine or even a nine because it wasn't nine quality. It wasn't quite a nine just yet. It's not full length. Not full length. It's not even jewel. It's not even. It's just a four foot zoom unit. But it's a good one. It's, it's, a, a, great, it's a turbo one. It's a great, it's a great four foot zoom. Great. Next up, talking about the materials and the Kairi 5. Timmy, talk to us about the materials in the Kairi 5. The Kairi 5 is an engineered mesh throughout, right? Okay. With some overlays as well, which is in the high wear areas as per usual. As per. Engineered mesh is actually what makes up most of the shoe, pretty much mm. everything of the shoe, including that support system we spoke about earlier. Now, it does so, so well because one, it's breathable, mm -hmm. it's supportive, it's durable, which is massive, but it is a little stiff. Yeah. And that's just what we've seen in the Kyrie line before. Yeah. Uh, but just a little stiffer than probably something like the Kyrie 4, mm. which is frustrating a little bit, but a good material. The materials get the job done. Most definitely. Breathability is there. Fact. Always get the engineered mesh. You love that. The overlays are nice. Very. It's just breaking time is a bit mad, isn't it? A bit tough. It's a bit crazy. Mm. I mean, and why is it the same with every Kyrie shoe? Except for the Kyrie 4. You know that my Kyrie 3 still haven't broken in until now. Wow. Another part of the material is actually the fly wire cables used for the containment system. I didn't quite mention it at the beginning, but it's still the material and it helps massively with the materials itself. Yeah. So, with all that being said, the materials overall get to 7. Decent. Definitely a 7. Definitely decent. Higher than average. Just breaking time needs a bit of love, but a seven it is. Job done. So next up, talking about fit. Now the Kyrie 5 fits extremely snug thanks to the half booty construction yeah. and that containment system I spoke about a little earlier. Yeah. And those materials. So everything coming together, it's a very snug, close to tight shoe. Very precise. Pre ooh. Ooh. Very preci I, I'm out here, you know. Ooh, it's a very precise fitting shoe. Extremely precise. So it does feel really good, especially for someone like myself mm. with a regular kind of narrowish foot. Yep. But then talk to them about the rest of them. What are you saying? All right, I need you guys to pay attention to what I'm about to say because this is very, very important. Yeah. All right, that's why I've now sat forward Jeez. and my chest is up because I need you guys to pay attention to what I'm about to say. I mean, it's important. This is a must try on shoe. Must. You must try these on. Must. All right. Timmy and his long ass feet are fine in Every these. Every video. All right. His skinny feet are fine in these. My wide feet, however, <laughs> struggled severely. All right. <laughs> severely. All right. <laughs> I wish I've got a half size up. Potentially so, a full. Potentially a full. Potentially a full. So, what I need you guys to do, if you're thinking about getting a carry fives, please try them on. If you choose to disregard that advice, buy a half size up if you have wide feet, even if regular feet. Unless your feet are skinny like Timmy's. Every every time. Okay, cool. Every time. No worries. Fine. Your time will come. It's fine. It's your own. With all of that being said, including my advice that I think you should take, the carry comes out at a 7 out of 10. It doesn't unfortunately get swept any higher because we don't feel like the carry K is for all types no. of feet. If it did, it would have scored higher. Definitely. So 7 out of 10 it is. What is that? So last and surprisingly least, surprising, the traction. Where do we begin? 
Tell, tell them what it is. Tell them what, what it looks like. All, all right. So here in the Kyrie Five, what we have is the all-seeing eye traction pattern inspired by Kyrie Irving's tattoo. Yeah. There's a lot of mixed emotions in the studio right now. Yeah, here at the Pure Kick Studio, ladies and gentlemen, there are loads of mixed emotions and we don't know what to say or feel about just the, the traction pattern. What I will say, mm -hmm. her pick word is a little disappointing, which is sad. All right. I hear disappointing. Yeah. And I understand it in context. Thanks. They were in a second. Yeah. With me, it's... I have two. No, go. Extremely inconsistent. Ooh, yeah. I might be better. It might be. But it's more so part of the disappointment. Yeah, it's, it it's not what we. There's not what we expect from the. Kyrie. It's not what we signed up for when we. It's not what you want. Facts. Or what you expect when you buy a Kyrie shoe. Do you know what I mean this is the last thing you want to be worried about? The last thing. And it's the traction. And here's why. Now, when I first when I first laced these up, I went on a pretty dusty court, mm -hmm. which, is, which, which is funny because the court's not normally dusty, but in this case it was. Yeah. So what we're going to show you here is a clip from that session. Now what you're about to see may be a little disturbing. Highly dangerous. So, viewers, please be advised. Fonte! Fonte! Jesus is love! What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Wait, what the fuck is that? Ah! What the fuck is that? I'm scared! I mean, Timmy, I would just like to point out mm. that the traction is absolutely sensational Next level. on clean court. I, I mean, it is beautiful on clean court. I, do, I, do, I, do, I, do. I think everything that they want, how they designed this traction pattern and what they want it to do yeah. on clean court, it is amazing. Amazing. But I only play on a clean court like twice a year, isn't it? Twice. It was tough, man. It was. It was just. Tough. It. For some reason, I think obviously the way it's been designed, it collected like pockets of dust. Yeah. And with all that dust, there was so much wiping. Yeah. And when I didn't get a chance to wipe, it was already too late. Yeah. There was slips. There was inconsistencies on the pull-ups and things like that nature. It's good. It's good. It is a good. It's traction, very man. good traction. It is very good traction. It's so last thing. Yes. Flow. Yep. Would you take them outdoors? I would not take these outdoors. The reason why I say that is because. The rubber compound is extremely soft. Even now, just having them in hand, like the traction with each groove actually moves as I push down the traction pattern and I see these wearing away extremely quickly outdoors. If it were a Nike exterior outsole, I'd be like, yeah, go get it. But with these, it's yeah, tough. What you mean. It's tough. Of course, you can wear these outdoors <laughs> and that is perfectly fine, but we wouldn't recommend them because of how quickly we believe that they would wear away. You have been warned. So with all that being said, the all dust collecting Kyrie 5 traction still gets a seven. It gets seven out of 10 to me. Still gets a seven. Why? Just to make it clear, uh -huh. traction pattern is not bad. It's not bad traction. Not at all, not at all. There was just the issue of dust collection. Yeah. Which is more so maybe the design of it, but the yeah. traction is a good, good traction. Now, it's not something we've expected from the Kyrie line. It's not, I want so because of the expectation, it was kind of the anticipation of it, it kind of makes it more disappointing, which yeah. means we can't score it any higher. But a seven is still above average, yeah. So it's still a good traction, seven it is. Now, looking at all the scores of the Nike Carry 5, this shoe comes in at a 7.6 out of 10. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's not bad. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, thanks to the support, thanks to the materials, thanks to the cushioning. Amazing. It's fine. It's yeah. really, really, it's, I say fine. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's really good stuff. It's let down a little bit by the traction. Yeah. That's where it goes a little downhill. And the traction isn't bad. Not bad. It's just what it's not what we expected. It's just, it's just a little disappointing. You know it's not I mean? on par with the support, the yeah. cushioning. It's not on par with it. So that's where it just misses out a couple of tricks. But it, it's like opening a Krispy Kreme donut box and you just see a regular donut in the box. Regular. Regular donuts are fine, but it's not what I, I was expecting. I was expecting a Krispy Kreme 
hot original glazed. Do you understand? I, I got a regular sugar donut. True. Which is still pain. They're still great. I'm still gonna eat. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad. But the packaging is fully sacred to cream. I hope you guys get it, man. That's a great analogy. Because I have to think hard for that analogy. I want donuts now, I'm, lie. I'm hungry. They're hungry. Raspberry jam. There you have it. That is everything from the Nike Carry 5. Before we go, please make sure you enter yourself into our Christmas giveaway. If you're not sure what to do, like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, comment your size down below, and you can come with a chance to win, not these, but the Nike Hyperdunk X 2018. Peng Shu, grab that, enter giveaway, let's go. And lastly, don't forget to follow us on our socials, at This Is Pure Kicks across the board. With that being said, this is the Nike Kyrie 5, we're Pure Kicks, let's get it.